ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in smithsonian.com. The flesh eating bacteria is now showing up up and down the East Coast, ladies and gentlemen. Usually it, it normally shows up like in the Southern part of the East Coast because the waters tend to be a lot warmer. And number two, a lot of this is coming from people handling and eating raw shellfish, which you should not be eating anyway. Those things are scavengers and they are there to clean the ocean. You know, this society has taught you those things are good to eat, enjoy, eat all you want. And this is what's throwing off the ecosystem and why the ocean cannot stay clean. There are some animals that are, should never be eaten because they have to be in the ocean in order to keep all kinds of microbes and bad things in the ocean, they will just eat and, and destroy it. But you eating it, you don't even give these scavengers a chance to do what they need to do in the ocean. So unfortunately, this is how it is. And I'm not surprised that the people that are eating these things are the ones impacted the most. So here in New Jersey, there are cases of the flesh eaten virus and it's increasing only because the ocean waters are getting warmer. So I just wanna go down to where it says right here. Typically the destructive bacteria thrive in slightly salty brackish water with surface temperatures above 13 degrees Celsius or 55.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Per CBS News, Caitlin O'Kane, such conditions are often found in the Gulf of Mexico along Southern states, including Texas, Louisiana, and south of the Chesapeake Bay, the Delaware Bay bordering Southern New Jersey and Delaware has been considered too cold for V. vulnificus. But as the team of infectious disease specialists and clinical pharmacists write in the study, the strain appears to be on the move with warmer temperatures facilitating changes and the quantity distribution in seasonal windows of bacteria. So this stuff is going a lot further north because of, you know, the temperatures in the waters are even warmer here. So it's no longer just contained to coastal states in the Southeast. You're going to now see this further and further up north. So it, it is saying that dozens of people usually get this flesh eating bacteria, about 80,000 people a year, but you can expect, you, you can just about expect that number to increase as, you know, ocean temperatures warm in places where they're normally not warm. So what happens when you get this flesh eating bacteria, you will see things like the illness contracted from raw shellfish and undercooked shellfish. Usually oysters is the biggest culprit. Um, diarrhea and vomiting filled with food poisoning. Boy, that just sounds horrible, don't it? In some more serious cases, you'll see the bacteria even enter the bloodstream, making ulcers and black spots and pus emerging around the infected area. Although antibiotics can help slow the spread of the infection, skin grafting, skin removal, and even amputation may be necessary to restore patient's health. Oh, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. That should make you want to put the shellfish down, just that alone, you know? So among remaining patients were a 38-year-old who hadn't 
ventured near the Delaware Bay, but worked at the New Jersey restaurant serving seafood. A 46-year-old who injured his left leg while crabbing in the bay. A 64-year-old who slashed his leg open on a crab trap. And a 60-year-old whose mummified arms and legs had to be at least partially amputated. Damn. You know, it does all of that. And y'all still want to go out there crabbing and catching oysters and stuff? Wow. Okay, so the infection course through the entire body, kind of like a hurricane or tornado that ravages everything. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It really does. So popular science, Kadash writes that it's worth noting that cases in question are usually severe. All five patients had underlying risk factors, including hepatitis, liver disease, and diabetes known to exacerbate fibrosis, According to the Center for Disease Control, those with healthy immune systems usually escape the worst of the infection. That's all fine and good, but still, you should not be eating all of the shellfish out here. To lower one's chances of contracting fibrosis, the CDC recommends not eating raw or undercooked shellfish. How about eating no shellfish? Covering open wounds with waterproof band-aids. Mm. Okay, so anyone with cut sores or broken skin. Okay, so it, what they're saying is if you have these cut sores and open skin, you are opening yourself up to spreading this flesh-eating infection. So immunico compromised conditions who notice changes or the appearance of infection after spreading time and um, spending time in the water should seek medical attention promptly as early as medical intervention is key to the best outcomes. Yeah, but you know what? There's a lot of people that will get these things and they don't even know what they have. And you know how some people are. They will hesitate to go see a doctor in the first place. Um, it figures. The alerts clinicians in Delaware Bay area to watch for the V. Uh, so they're watching out for infections in the area. Oh, this drives me crazy. Every time I get on here and do a video, somebody calls at this moment. It never fails. All right, y'all, that phone is across the room and I'm not getting it. All right, y'all, so just be careful out there, especially if you're the kind of person that likes going in the ocean. I mean, some people really do like it. Some, you know, you may like going down to the beach, but you don't get in the water. That's how I am. I, I'll go down there, but I don't get in the water and I, I don't eat any shellfish or anything like that anyway. And believe it or not, even before I found out who I was, I stopped eating shellfish. I just stopped eating it naturally. You know, I was no longer interested in eating it anymore. And then I later found out we're not supposed to eat it. I guess that was a spirit being put on me not to eat it anymore. But just be careful out there. Be careful about the things that you're handling. I know most of you don't touch any shellfish, so you don't have any fear of those kind of things. But those of you that still do, be careful. You know, this stuff is no joke. A lot of these flesh-eating bacterias can also kill you. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.